Hey guys and welcome to this video. We're going to be looking at the MCU Spider-Man 4 that gets its first update after three months and also the potential for a Miles Morales live action movie. But if you haven't yet guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to stay up to date with all the movie news we have going on around here. So let's jump into the article. MCU Spider-Man 4 gets its first update in three months from the producer. Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4 gets an update from the producer after three months with the movie set to follow Spider-Man No Way Home's shocking ending. And you, th for those of you who have seen it, you will know exactly what they mean by a shocking ending. I'm not going to go into spoiler details, guys, for people that potentially still want to see the movie. So I'm not going to give anything away on that front. Marvel and Sony's Spider-Man 4 finally gets an update from the producer after three months. Tom Holland will return for the Marvel Cinematic Universe's next Peter Parker adventure. And Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has already revealed that Spider-Man 4's story has been set. While there are not many de details available regarding the story, what might entail, or which characters might be part of it. Spider-Man 4 has received an update that should give an idea of more about when the movie should become public. Okay, let's keep going. So speaking with Variety, longtime Spider-Man franchise producer Amy Pascal shared an update on the status of Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4. Pascal stated by confirming that Spider-Man 4 is moving forward before revealing that the movie has been affected by ongoing Writers Guild of America strike. According to Pascal, Work on the film has been stopped as all the people involved are being supporters of the strike. Pascal confirmed work on Spider-Man 4 will resume after the strike ends. Check out the full quote below. So, are we going to make another movie? Of course we are. We're in the process, but the writer's strike. Nobody is working during the strike. We're all being supporters and whenever they get themselves together, we'll get started. Yeah, guys. So it was kind of inevitable that we were going to see Tom Holland again. I mean, you've got to look at this Spider-Man franchise, man. Like... Every single movie they put out, it just makes absolute bank. These Spider-Man movies, they're so, so popular. He's got to be one of the most popular characters in the MCU. And every single Spider-Man comes out, it just makes, you know, truckloads of money. And there was no way they were going to leave a Spider-Man 4 on the table. Um, it just makes too much money, guys. And you know what I always say in Hollywood? Money talks. So, of course, they're going to make another one. So, when will Spider-Man 4 release? Okay, let's just scroll down a little bit here. Holland will first. Uh, Holland will be the first Peter Parker actor to get a fourth Spider-Man movie. As Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 4 was cancelled, and the franchise rebooted in favour of Andrew Garfield's The Amazing Spider-Man movies, which would only get a duology. With Holland then becoming the Peter Parker actor in the MCU, while it might take a little longer than expected due to the writer's strike, the MCU will get a Spider-Man 4 nonetheless. Like I say, guys, because it makes so much money, there is no way. How would you possibly not, you know, not make a Spider-Man 4? You know, people want to see where the story continues on from the last Spider-Man film as well, with, you know, with the climax ending. So, Holland's next Spider-Man solo movie might not, uh, might be guaranteed. However, the film's release date is not, is not, sorry. Up to this point, every Holland Spider-Man movie has been released two years after the last. Spider-Man 4 will break the MCU trend as the next movie of the Wall Crawler, Wall Crawler, if I could talk, uh, needs to be released this year to keep the pattern going after 2021's Spider-Man No Way Home. Obviously, with the writer's strike going on, we have no idea how long it's going to last, so there's no way that's going to happen at the moment, guys. Given how 2023 releases out of the cards, the focus shifts to when Spider-Man 4 might make its way to theatres. Based on the fact that the work on the movie will resume after the writer's strike ends, and that the film will likely start production after the mid-2024, and Spider-Man 4 release might be at least two years away from happening. Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, will likely feature Spider-Man, and the film releases on May 2nd, 2025. Based on the current status of Holland's movie, Spider-Man 4 should debut after the next Avengers film with a summer or winter 2025 release. Ooh, do you know what? Speaking of 2025, could you imagine? Could you imagine, guys? Look at this, right? 2025, what other massive tentpole movies coming out in 2025? Superman Legacy. Could you imagine Superman Legacy and Spider-Man 4 squaring off? That would be a super interesting year at the box office. You know, to see which film makes the more money... I, given, you know, Spider-Man's track record, it's probably going to make more money because DC is in a bit of a decline at the moment. But I would still be very, very interested, you know, if you put those two movies together, you know, what what's going to happen with those two movies? That would be a very, very interesting financial year anyway, guys. So anyway, guys, we're going to jump over to the Miles Morales article and we're going to look at what's going on with a potential live action Miles Morales uh, movie. So guys, we're going to take a look at this article here about Spider-Man producer responds positively to the possibility of a live-action Miles Morales movie. So, long-time Spider-Man producer Amy Pascal 
uh, responds possi- uh, to the possibility of a live-action Miles Morales movie happening after his animated franchise. So yeah, guys, Miles Morales is kind of being pushed to the forefront of the Spider-Man universe now. Obviously, a lot of pe- a lot of casual moviegoers um, probably wouldn't know who Miles Morales is when it comes to the Spider-Verse. But obviously, with um, you know the the Spider-Verse movies coming out uh, and getting great great praise and great audience scores and everything like that. Uh, people seem to know who Miles Morales is now. Obviously, we had the PlayStation game, uh, Miles Morales PlayStation game, so that also brought him into the forefront as well. And people are very, very interested in this character of Miles Morales, and people want to see more of him um, in different mediums. So I think it's just a matter of time before we get him uh, on his live-action movie. That's my opinion anyways. But anyway, Spider-Man producer Amy Pascal talks about the possibility of a live-action Miles Morales movie happening in the future. One of Marvel's beloved uh, web slingers is getting ready to swing back to the big screen as Miles' adventure continues in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The highly anticipated sequel will not only take Miles' story further, but go deeper into the larger Spider-Verse. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy, guys. If you haven't seen the trailers, it's just like Spider-Man's all over the place. You got, you know, you know, they got they had spider dinosaurs and they had spider cats and other kind of Spider-Men from different universes in the future and all kinds of crazy stuff, guys. Go and check out the trailer if you haven't seen it, guys. Um, I think you'll really like it and, you know, go and see it when you can. Uh, With Miles' popularity having increased thanks to the Spider-Verse franchise, many have been wondering when Sony will actually adapt him into a live action. It appears that the studio is getting closer to making that become a reality. In the new interview with Variety, Pascal, a longtime Spider-Man producer and former co-chairperson of Sony Pictures, was asked about the chances of a live-action movie for Miles while also bringing up the chances of a Spider-Woman project. Though Pascal didn't uh, give away any specifics, she teased strongly that the word that the world uh, will see all of it sharing the following. I'm going to scroll down here. Um, you'll see all of it. It's all happening. So that was a quote there from Amy Pascal, the producer. So, yeah, from this quote here, it sounds like they probably have a lot of plans going forward. It wouldn't surprise if they have, like, the next... 10 years mapped out for the Spider-Verse. You know, they're doing all the Venom movies. They got um, the Spider-Man games, the Spider-Verse, and then obviously the live action franchises. Like Spider-Man is a huge, huge IP. And, you know, any way that they can make money, um, Miles Morales will definitely make money, I think, um, now that he's been pushed to the forefront. Uh, People seem to love the character. And, you know, I hope he gets a live adaptation soon. How... Uh, how across the Spider-Verse could set up a live-action Miles Morales movie. That's the thing as well, guys. Because uh, Spider-Verse is um, a multiverse animated thing, there could be a real live Miles Morales that actually appears in the Spider-Verse movie. Even though it's an animated movie, you could have a live version of him pop up in the animated movie because it's from a multiverse. So that's interesting to see if that would happen. Even if Sony hasn't announced an actual live-action Miles Morales movie yet, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse may already be setting up in one of the recent Across the Spider-Verse trailers, a new villain, Spot, briefly visits uh, visits sorry Sony's Spider-Man universe, which is the franchise for the Venom movies and other projects based on the villains from Peter Parker's mythology. Spot has an encounter with Miss Chen, who appeared in both Venom and Venom Let There Be Carnage, which is already opening the door for Sony to take it one step further. Yeah, so that's really exciting, guys. So with the Into the Spider-Verse, they're already crossing it over with the Sony with the Sony Spider-Verse, which is really interesting. With Spider-Man uh, Beyond the Spider-Verse, it wouldn't be shocking if Sony is looking at taking the animated version of Miles and bringing him into the world of live action. Whether it would be uh, Shamik Moore playing his live action counterpart or a younger actor to match Miles' actual age would be up to the creative team. However, this would be a clever way to continue the character's arc outside the animated franchise. Given how beloved Miles has become in the last couple of years outside the comics, it was only a matter of time before Sony would adapt him for live action. It might be they it might be that they are waiting until Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse to come out and complete the trilogy before they properly announce a live action Miles Morales movie. Hopefully more information about the Miles own live action Spider-Man movie will emerge over the next few years. So yeah guys, like I say, the Spider-Man franchise is just beloved. People love the Spider-Man franchise. It makes so much money and you know, with Miles Morales, you know, popping up in the games, popping up uh, in in his own animated movies. I think that they're really doing a good job on getting the every you know the everyday film film goer, getting getting them used to who Miles Morales is, what he's about, you know, his backstory. And then I think if you throw him into a Spider-Man movie as a supporting character before he has his own movie, 
That'd be a good way to introduce him to even more people. Have him as a side character in a Spider-Man movie. And then um, and then throw him off into his own solo movie. But yeah, guys, I think that there is absolutely no way that this is not going to happen. You know, absolutely going to happen in the next few years. It wouldn't surprise me if they have the next 10 years of the Spider-Verse planned out. But yeah, I throw it off to you guys. I'd love to know what you guys think. Are you interested in a Miles Morales live action movie? Do you not care about the Miles Morales character? Jump down to the comment section, guys, and let me know what you think about this. And also let me know what you think about Spider-Man 4. Are you excited for Spider-Man 4? What do you hope? What villains do you hope to see in the Spider-Man 4? That'd be really great. I know I'm asking a lot of questions, guys, but I'd just love to get your feedback on any of this stuff. So I will see you soon.